Hello everyone, welcome back to another video where today we're going to be going over some casting details and filming details for series 14, David Tennant's recent appearance on BBC Breakfast, as well as a rumour leak thing that's come from a latest tabloid that I've not really seen anyone else talk about. So yeah, we have all that to look forward to. But before we get into it, if you could do me a teeny tiny little favour and click that subscribe button, it would be very much appreciated. We are just like three subscribers away from 17,800, so literally if any of you watching subscribe right now, we'd probably make it there. Any support would be greatly appreciated. We're trying to get to 20,000 by the end of the year. Also, I have a Twitter and Instagram if you'd like to follow those, but of course you don't have to. Link will be in the description below. But with that said, let's get into the video. So yes, as I said, starting off, David Tennant recently appeared on BBC Breakfast to promote stage Doctor Who and the other quintillion things that he's currently got his hands in at the moment. Not that I'm complaining, I love seeing David Tennant, you know, all over the box, it's lovely to see. But yes, of course, he was inevitably asked about Doctor Who and this was his response, so I'll let him respond right now. Doctor Who is always, uh, it, it's something that never goes away and it was, uh, uh, it was great fun to return to that for a little while and sort of see if I could still run as fast. <laughs> could you? Well, you'll have to wait and see. That would be spoilers, wouldn't it? <laughs> OK, now, I, I can sense already you're going to struggle with this next question, but I'm going to say oh. it anyway. Can you tell us anything about what to expect from Doctor Who this time around? I think, sorry, I, I think there's a terrible connection <laughs> I here. I can't. Do that. <laughs> I can't quite hear the question, sorry. <laughs> you know we're going to watch anyway. Well, that's good. I mean, that's the thing about all these things. It's the same with staged. You don't want to give too much away. Part of the joy of this is not knowing where the story's going to go, isn't it? And uh, especially if it's something that you've enjoyed before, you want to see what, how it's going to surprise you. And if I just come on here and tell you all the secrets, where's the fun in that? So yeah, David Tennant there, as I sort of said on Twitter, RTD treated him very, very well, not giving anything away. But uh, yeah, that is to be expected. I must say it's incredibly exciting to have him back. And I'm really excited for 2023. He did say, you know, if it's something you've done before, you want to see how it surprises you. Obviously, that doesn't give away much. We can infer that it'll be different to his first time around as the 10th Doctor. But I think that does indicate that his character may be slightly different and there may be, you know, sort of twists that we're not quite expecting and how it all factors in in 2023. So I'm very excited to see it all unfold. You can tell he's just hugely excited to be doing it again. Like that massive grin on his face. It's just so like heartwarming and wholesome to see. Yeah, I'm really excited for 2023. And yeah, I just can't wait to see what it's going to be like. We've had some casting calls for Series 14 filming, or what we assume is Series 14 filming. An exciting sci-fi TV series based in Cardiff, I wonder what that could be, is looking for extras aged 20 to 45 with ambitious, clean, sharp and groomed looks to portray business professionals in January. So this could be for any episode, and obviously the details are here with creative casting. I believe this is where the call-outs for both Gasman Finney's character and... Millie Gibson's character were also made. So yeah, this is pretty common. We also have this call for trendy individuals has been making the agency rounds. I have it on good authority. This is also for Doctor Who. I hadn't seen this before, that they were looking to cast young and white with no red or black hair though. So yeah, here it is, looking for young and trendy individuals for an exciting high-end TV drama. You must have a valid and up-to-date DBS for this production. Brief Caucasian, any gender, aged 17 to 27, no facial piercings, no black or red hair, no facial hair or beards, and no tattoos unless easily hidden. So yeah, obviously they're looking for something highly specific for this character or these characters or these extras, so I wonder if that's, you know, sort of any, I guess, indication as to who this might be. Possibly, if it's 17 to 27, maybe Millie Gibson's family members or friends, uh, I guess. I mean, they want someone young and trendy, and I mean, well, BBC, I know you're watching, <laughs> hit me up. But yeah, I wonder who these characters will be. Obviously, as I said, hyper-specific, so I guess we'll have to wait and see on that front. Interestingly, it does say several dates across December and January, so that would line up with Doctor Who filming. Actually, what did the previous one say? So, the dates are 3rd of January, 16th of January, 17th of January, and 18th of January, location Cardiff. So, yeah, we can infer from that that obviously Doctor Who will be filming across December and January, 
likely into February as well, because obviously it's a full series. Bear in mind, you know, we've got three specials coming in 2023, and we got quite a bit of filming stuff for those. So I can imagine we'll have quite a few filming images across December and January, so make sure you're subscribed to check all those out. Now, this is a weird one. A recent tabloid called The Sunday Sport, what's referred to here as a lads rag by someone on Gallifrey base, has said that Rita Ora will start in three episodes of Doctor Who with Shuti Gatwa. Considering the source, I don't think this news is reliable. However, Russell T. Davis hired Kylie Minogue for Voyage of the Damned, so it's within the realm of possibility. So I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a big music guy. I don't know much about Rita Ora. I know she's a big deal, but like, <laughs> I don't know much about her. But yeah, I have actually had a look into the Sunday Sport and this was one of their headlines. So um, looking at it, not convinced, you know, <laughs> just just judging by this image. Um, I don't think I have to go into why I think maybe this might not be trustworthy. But hey, you know, tabloids sometimes get things right, although I'm not really buying it <laughs> in this case. I couldn't actually find the original article. I'd assume it's in one of their full papers, and I have looked online, but I can't find the whole segment. If anyone has managed to find the segment, feel free to maybe like link it in the comments and I'll have a look. But yeah, that about wraps up today's video. If you did enjoy, be sure to give it a like, comment down below your thoughts, and subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.